Uh, my name's David. David Grischeck. I'm 20 years old. Uh, I live in Oceanside and I go to Miracosta. I'm the president of the chess club here in Miracosta. I think the hardest thing is improving. Like, it's all a mental game, pretty much, because it's very easy to move the pieces and everything. So just, I don't know, recognizing that you have an advantage and having the guts to kind of go for it. Like, even if you know there's a chance you could be wrong, and everything goes to shit. Like, you gotta be bold enough to step up and make the move, you know? When you're in a position that's really sharp, and the next move can determine the outcome of the game, and it's not always perfectly clear and you're trying to think 10 moves ahead it's definitely difficult to sit in front of the guy you know look them in the eye and think do they have the winning move you know and you could invest hours into a single game so you spent two hours and you're looking face to face with the person and you just don't know if they're just going to crush you on the next move so it's very easy to pick up right so you can share it with people very easily it's funny. I'm having a hard time like articulating the experience of playing chess because it's really special. Because even though the moves are simple and everything, the actual like interactions of the pieces are so complicated and there's so much to know. I think that's it. Uh, there's just an endless, nearly endless amount of things that you could learn. Uh, awesome. Well, I could give you a medical reason that chess helps prevent Alzheimer's. That's, that's been studied. Um, but really, chess is just a fun thing. At least for me, that's how it's been. Um, I know in the past there's been like professional players that get paid a lot also. Uh, so maybe there's a financial reason. But uh, really, just coming out, enjoying some games, laughing with your friends, coming up with new ideas, it's all just fun. It's funny to say, but like even like little people here, like Carson, that aren't like the greatest player, like, they still have certain ideas and they're still like fighting to get better. So that's definitely motivating. So. Like comparing chess to real life, life is a lot less discreet. There's not specific places that you are, specific actions that you really take. I think it's a lot less certain in life, but uh, I definitely think general principles uh, carry over, like controlling impulses, uh, planning for the future, um, making valuable sacrifices. I think that's a very important lesson. Um, I think a guy had like some really strong passion about something and he thought, man, how do I get someone to have this idea? So I'm, I'm thinking he had a passion about something that was really small and he was like very curious about it and very interested and he wanted to get that same feeling put into somebody so he created a very simple game that became very, very interesting quickly. That's my idea. Do you know who invented chess? I don't know who invented chess. Do you know but, uh...